always feels good just to be back in racing too, and especially internationally racing. It's really cool to, like I remember when we're at the, like, um, seeing the finish line right there, hearing the roar of the audience and the crowd and stuff. Um, it was, it was really cool, a lot of good experiences. And it's really good to have a lot of good memories um, on the same lake and coming back to it too, coming off that. You, last time you raced, you had a good success and coming back to it on a very good, exciting new start. Rob is a great rowing partner. I probably could not ask for a better, unless you're Johnny Depp, then, you know, be better rowing partner. No, I'm joking. I did not say that. But um, he's a great rowing partner. It's definitely harder to be with um, mixed obviously because he's a male I'm a female so I'm not going to be as strong as him or as big and bulky as him and so I hope as his rowing partner I can just be as strong as I can especially him being a marine <laughs> like show up my side be pull my end of the boat um, but I feel like we make a really good team together and we really work well together if there's issue work over work it but I really lucked out <laughs> Yeah, you know, when she goes out, I know she's going to give 100% wherever we, uh, wherever we row, wherever we're doing. So, and she, uh, she's really willing to learn and uh, work on stuff. And that's, I mean, that's all, all you can really ask in a partner is that they're as willing to improve themselves and your boat as you are. And uh, we get along pretty good, too. We made pretty good progress in our first year. We went from rowing uh, something like a 440. Uh, when we first started out, and then we we finished uh, our best time at the Paralympics was a 401. So we made a lot of good progress, and this past year, started training in November, uh, rode through the winter in Virginia, and then uh, spent a month in California, in Newport Beach, uh, during the winter. And we're probably about as fast now uh, if not a little slower than we were right before we went to the Paralympics last year, so we're uh, we're improving. Training, it's it's hard. It's like train, sleep, eat, sleep. But it's so good to be here at like a World Cup with all the uh, like Olympians and para rowers together, mixed together instead of just separated. Um, you see all kinds of countries, and it's really cool to hear the accents and watch all different types of styles of rowing, and just to I love watching racing too. I don't know, I just love rowing. I've, from day one of getting on the water, I love water. So anything with water, I'm, I'm gonna be sold on. Um, and it's just, when I first started rowing, I started rowing in a single and I loved being out there by myself. And it was just a very unique sport. And then um, the competitiveness of it is really, I love it. So you can't predict anything because the weather and the, conditions are always changing. I mean I never really, that wasn't my goal when I uh, got wounded or anything when I first set out. I knew that I wasn't gonna let it destroy my my future um, and I've, I'm really proud that I can be a good role model for other people in my situation or really any situation um, and I, I try to be, you know, I try, I do some speaking and stuff so I try and spread the things that I've learned through my injury and I think most of the time um, I'm able to get my message across. So yeah, it's really, I'm really proud of it and it's really satisfying. It's just really rewarding too, especially from London, when you, like I moved away from my state home to live closer to my rowing partner so we could train together every single day and stuff. And when you make commitments like that and the kind of sacrifices not to be close to your friends and then to choose to go train and be in pain and sweat and stuff instead of go shopping or out with your friends. In the end, it's so much worth it when you're stay, standing on top of like the podium. I think definitely being a Paralympian now, especially <coughs> at home to um, like other people who are, you know, with physical disabilities or challenges or whatever that want to make it into a high elite level of whether it's athletics or whatever it may be, I hope to be that good role model and I think when you're into something like this and it's worldwide, I think you kind of should expect to be a role model and you know, I hope that people can see um, not just from me but from every athlete here that's a para-athlete 
that, you know, life doesn't stop at your physical appearance. It's what's mental and what you're thinking is like. And if you want to do something, you'll always find a way to do it.